tell them to do uh in this you know and I, I heard warren buffett say this is to uh constantly educate themselves and what their competition is doing and what where the market is going uh what they haven't done already and where they need to be stronger i mean you know warren buffett said the best he said you know you're not going to be able to change what happens in the world but the only thing that's going to be stuck with you for the rest of your life is you yourself and your oh, education powerful. right and no matter where you go you're there and your education, your skill set, and your ability and your knowledge is going to be the thing that either going to help you avoid landmines or look for gold mines. Mm -hmm. um, so mm -hmm. it, it purely is education. I mean, right now, if you're that person who is home and your retail operation is shut down, um, you know, are you understanding how to, you know, convert on online and build mm -hmm. a social media presence? Mm -hmm. um, if you have to shut down your business, are you going to start over more wisely because you really didn't know how you were looking at your finance and you didn't have whether enough cash on hand or you didn't have enough profit margin or you were paying too much because you just weren't financially intelligent? How are you going to educate yourself yeah. in those areas? I mean, you know, it, it's always going to be only education. Yeah, I think yeah. like as leaders, right, your business will only grow as far as you grow as the owner or the CEO. Like if you mm -hmm. limit your growth and education, you're going to limit the organization's ability to grow. So we can become the cap or the lid on growth if we don't continue to insist in our own professional development. So I, I know we believe that at Belay. It sounds like you do too, Damon, that, you know, investing in ourselves is the best gift we can give our companies to make sure that we are wiser and smarter and better and more educated tomorrow than we are today. Yeah, And you know, listen, um, I don't want people thinking that they are going to need to, you know, listen, running a business and it, it's hard, right? Uh, there's so many different categories. There is mm -hmm. manufacturer, distribution, advertising, marketing, finance, you, you know, all kind of taxes, all kind of things. You can't educate yourself in everything. So if you are somebody running a business, one of the things you may need to educate yourself in is who can help me in this area? Right. How can I get somebody virtually to help me in this area or whatever the case is? Because I don't know. And I'm going to put out this fire right here and I'm going to then educate myself on who else I need because I need to educate myself on my weaknesses so yes. I can focus on my strengths and bring somebody else in. So I don't want people thinking they got to read, you know, a hundred books, you know, and be the <laughs> most brilliant person tomorrow. It's just educate yourself on what you need. I mean, yeah. if you're working out, don't you need to educate yourself on your nutrition and different ways to work out and, you know, your mm. body mass index and things like that. You got to educate yourself no matter what. Mm. And have a mentor too. I mean, obviously that you spend a lot of time, I know, mentoring business leaders. I mean, that's that's pretty incredible to have somebody in your corner. So you don't have to read that big stack of books. They already read it. They're gonna give you the and mm -hmm. you know the crib ver the crib version of it. The, you know. <laughs> I think I think you I think you said it I, I think you said something that I totally forgot and that is the truth. It, life is a series of mentors, period. Yeah. Um I am I am a product of a lifelong list of mentors. I still seek mentors. And sometimes, you know, in my company, there's reverse mentorship. You know, I'm Batman and everybody else is Robin, but most of the time I'm Robin and they're Batman mm -hmm. because I shouldn't have hired them if they weren't smarter than me. And sometimes their mentors are the 18 year old digital natives that are communicating yeah. on the TikToks of the world and the Twitches yeah. of the world. And I remember somebody said to me, about six months ago, they said, why are you studying TikTok? Now, I don't, I haven't found my DNA on TikTok and with this craziness, I've been a little busy, but I said, I'm going to be looking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, you know what I said to them? I said, why? Because the 15 year old kid on TikTok who's on there today is going to be your consumer in 10 years. Yeah. Um, oh, and, right. you know, you need to think about that. We're, we're in this thing for the long haul and you need to, uh, you know, basically go back to mentorship. And who's going to mentor you the best on TikTok? Probably your daughter. Your My 16-year-old daughter is <laughs> taking me to TikTok school it, every exactly, day. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. And then still, yes. let's not forget the let's not forget the people who've been, um, you know, around for many years and they're seniors. They are very, very smart. They've forgotten more than mm. you've learned. Or the veterans who who, who uh, yeah. have completed tasks in the most craziest circumstances and did it within a system and there was no no. Uh, so there's so many ways right. that you can be mentored. And if you don't have those people around you, then Get a digital curriculum, pick up a book, you know, uh, mm -hmm. you know, find that way to get that. We're going back to education, but mentors are really, really important. They're the number one reason for success. 
Yeah. Well, and you well, got Damon on demand. So it's like, we can have you all the time as our mentor. Absolutely. We have Damon on demand, <laughs> but again, you know, listen, what I find is why, why do I listen to a lot of audio books is because all of these books were written and or by different people that may not know each other, everybody from Gary Vee to Napoleon Hill to Tony Robbins, whatever. But if I see the same things throughout all these books, what is the big conspiracy? No, I mean, they, they're all telling they're me these ways. To, yeah, they're yeah. onto something, you know, so why don't you listen, you know? Uh,